Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's it's as big a crash as you'll ever see. It's a 200 mile an hour section at the end of the straight. He loses control of the bike, and that is, it's so, like bad luck the way the bike flicked him. And at this point, as you can imagine, we all feared the worst. Really good, but this is what caused a crash. He's coming over the crest. That's 220 miles an hour. A massive tank slapper. What happens then? That knocks the brake pads back. So essentially, as he gets then into the braking zone, which is about 50 meters further down the track. We'll see it a little bit as we, uh, you, you, you'll see it as we see it forward on. So look, it's shake there, the pads have gone, he grabs the brake, no front brake, then when he grabs again, because he has to, because he's going to end up running out of road quickly, unfortunately the carbon brakes bite too aggressive, that locks the front and then it turns into the ugliest, horrendous crash. Can you believe he's alright?